double the grow shelf, double the fun on Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Hey plant friends, so this week I'm so I'm so excited. Um, Modern Sprout, who makes the grow two of the four five grow lights that I have in my apartment. Modern Sprout makes the grow bar and the grow house that I have in my bookshelf and in my kitchen. You can check out, I have a quick time lapse of my original install of this grow bar. Um, but they have this grow bar and you can pretty much install it anywhere where there's something that you can stick it onto. And I had the crazy idea to turn turn my bookshelf into a little terrarium almost with no um, glass and it's worked out so well. Having this, this is super low light in my space because all of our windows are over there so no plants could thrive here. But with this grow house, I've, I'm starting seeds in it right now. Um, I've had this jade that's just been so happy. Um, and I've learned a lot. So I wanted to kind of walk you through what I've learned with the old grow bar. And I'm so excited because they just sent me their new and improved grow bar and their new and improved grow house. So they just launched a line of grow lights that are automated. You sync them with the app and you manage them within the app. It's so cool. And the lights are also twice as strong. So it's 4,000 lumens of light. A few things. Um, the only real thing with the grow bar for the installation is um, you just need some area to um, funnel the cord. So Billy just cut a small little um, rectangle and slid the grow bar through the rectangle for me earlier today. So as you can see, it's super sleek white metal, which is a little different from the other grow bar, which was wood. Um, it has the double light strip here, and then you really like simply just fasten it to whatever you're installing it in. So they send you dual lock Velcro tabs, and literally all you do is you peel one side and you affix it to the light. You peel the other side and put it to the, like, it's crazy how easy this is. The hardest part is if you need to figure out where to make the cord, but if we wanted to, you could also install it and then have the cord, like you could just tape the cord to go around like that, but we just think it's cleaner that way. So now, literally, plant friends, all I'm gonna do, you peel this off the top, you peel that off the top, and then wear center, and then you just wanna press up really hard to make sure that gets in. And because it's Velcroed, it's like dual grip, you can, if you need to take this thing out, you can, and then re refasten it to the top. And that's it. <laughs> that's the installation. So I'm just gonna pull this through the hole now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to add more plants to my collection. So the new smart grow bar and grow house, and I have the grow house, I'm gonna show it to you in my kitchen, allows you to pair it. I've plugged it in. Oh, it's on, okay. So now I'm going to um, hold the on button down for 10 seconds. It's gonna start blinking and turn it into pairing mode. One, two. Stop blinking. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in and open my app and click home and click add grow light. Confirm indicator is blinking and I'm gonna confirm. You have to put your Wi-Fi address in but I already did that for my other one. So this now is connecting to this light it's really interesting, you can see how much brighter it is. So the new grow lights are twice as strong as the old grow lights, because Modern Sprout is always looking to like improve. Um, so it's wild to see like back to back how much brighter it is. So it's connected, and now we're done. So, plant friends, this is the wild part. So on my app, it has the dimmer, so I can manually on my app go in and dim it like, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? 
if you want to do your normal presets, you can do partial shade, partial, partial sun, or full sun. Full sun I have going on in my kitchen, and that has it go on from 8 to midnight, but since I sleep in here, I'm going to do a custom setting. So it's so simple, you just go into the custom setting, and you add schedule. I want full sun all days, and I want it to start at, what time do I wake up? It would be smart to turn the light on when I wake up in the morning, maybe at 7.45. I'm going to turn it up. I, lately in quarantine, I wake up at 8 a.m. And then I'm going to end it at 10 p.m. because that's about the time we go to sleep. And that's it. So now I get to fill it with plants. So because this is the stronger light of the two, I'm probably going to move all of my highlight loving plants into the shelf. A few things that I've learned about the grow bar and just grow lights in general as I've had them now for three years is obviously the highest light stuff you want to keep close to the grow light. So if you're starting seeds, um, if you have succulents, you're going to you might not want to have that succulent super low down here. You're going to want to have it propped up. So as you can see in this light, I've propped up a lot of my highlight loving plants so they can get closer to the light. I think now because this light is twice as strong, I'm just going to have to really keep my eyes on the plants to see what's burning and what isn't. But I'm super excited. So I think I'm going to move my seeds that I'm starting for my vegetable garden outside here. My rose geranium, I think, is going to be really happy under this light, and my pileas. So I'm going to treat this now as my highlight loving environment, and then I'm going to treat this one as my more bright, direct, bright indirect light environment. Um, so let's get styling. So upon first glance, just looking around my apartment, this is who I've moved around. This is going to change in a minute because I am starting a bunch of seeds and those seeds um, are going are taking up a lot of space and the, once I get them in my garden, I'll be able to kind of curate the aesthetic a little more. But right now I think I'm going to use it for super functional purposes. So this is going to be my highlight section. This is actually rooting right now um, in soil. Uh, I'm gonna let these cuttings, uh, sorry, these seeds grow really strong. So this plant, I had separated it from its mom and it's just not doing great since I separated it. I don't think the roots are established enough. So I'm gonna treat this as like a little hospital and put this close to the light. So hopefully it'll help it establish roots and get a little bit more comfortable. Ironically, it's in a plant that's a, a planter that says killed all my plants. I love my little twins. My orchid is doing, they're both in semi-hydro right now. And then this uh, geranium, I used to have in here and I had taken it out, but this geranium loved this grow light. It bloomed all the time. So I think it's gotten a little bigger since I've moved it, but I think I'm gonna just trim it back and see if maybe it wants to hang out under this grow light again because it has these beautiful red blooms and um, I haven't seen it bloom in a while. So I'm gonna put it back here. These are some Raphidophora tetrasperma. I have another video that um, is going to show, but these would be perfect to stick in the grow light, so under the grow light. So I'm going to move my twins. I'm going to stick these guys under here. Maybe I'll put my twins like this. So while well, those guys root. So this is kind of like my experimentation area right now. But it's perfect because it also keeps everything out of the way and Billy won't get mad at me for having my cuttings all over our living room table. So now I want to show you what I did with Modern Sprouts Smart Grow House in my very low light kitchen. So I've had the original grow house in my apartment for a few years. This is it. I've just swapped it out. It's so beautiful. It's this antique looking thing. They're pretty much the same. It's just that this one has glass and that one doesn't. Um, so the new Smart Grow House is a little bit larger, which I love because I can fit one more plant in it than I could in the old one. Um, and it, there's no glass. So it's much more easy to manage and you're not stressed that you're constantly breaking the glass. And like the grow bar, the light is twice as strong, which is amazing, and you can connect to the app. So um, <laughs> I have so many plants in it right now. We've got some basil, um, my African violets I've put under there, a peperomia, my watermelon peperomia that I saved and propagated, and then a lot of cutting. So the cool thing that I love about the grow house that I've utilized is I put plants in the grow house, 
But as you can see, it puts off a lot of light, like from here to here and here to here. So I put my highest light plants in the grow house and then I take my lower plant, my lower light tolerant plants like my um, snake plant or I have a junk, I have a, this guy. Um, and I even have a Micons <laughs> right here, which grows like gangbusters. Um, I put lower light plants around it. So this is the lowest light section of my apartment. There's like no light. It's 20 feet from a window and uh, I can have herbs in my kitchen. It's amazing. So it's linked with my, um, I'll do the fun party trick. It's linked with my app once more. So let me show you how I, you can modify it. Say I wanna make it a little moodier, get a little more sexy with it, boom. Boom. Can make it lower. Say I decide I only wanna grow herbs in it, bam. And then once again, it's got the presets and it's so fun and so nerdy. Um, I loved the initial grow bar and grow house. I'm so excited to now just have double the lights and have seven grow lights in the apartment. So thank you, Mod Sprout. And they have a discount code for Bloom Girl listeners because they're this month's sponsor. So you can check out the 15% discount code link and code below. Um, they've got amazing accessories grow lights like you can see even more grow lights than this even more options and tons of planty products like those seed starters available on their website so go check them out if you feel excited to keep blooming and keep growing and keep lighting the world and until next time my plant friends keep blooming and keep growing <laughs>